Hi Sagittarius, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world. So you can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. Right now, I'm going to do a reading for Sagittarius people that what will happen from 1st of October till 15th of October 2023. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a cross spread from this tarot deck and we'll see what will happen overall in the first half of October for Sagittarius people. So let's start your reading Sagittarius. And personal readings are available now for the people living in United States, UK, Europe and Canada. I do these readings on live video call on Skype. Uh, so if you live in these locations and you're interested in buying a personal reading, just add me on Skype and we'll take you from there. The Skype ID is written on the screen right now and it's also in the description of this video. Okay, messages for Sagittarius, 1st to 15th of October. 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 Okay, Sagittarius, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. Uh, so the first card in the middle we have is Empress. So Sagittarius, right now you're all about yourself, your own growth, uh, your, uh, I don't know, well-being, your health, your looks, your beauty, and also your, uh, I don't know, loving yourself and your you don't care about uh, anybody else. You are just looking for your own benefits and your own success in some way. And it's like you are totally uh, focused on your own. Uh, for a very few of you, maybe you are thinking about having a child or getting pregnant or something like that. For a very few of you. Knight of Wands before that. So you got some kind of power and uh, like you pumped yourself up and uh, it's like uh, for some of you maybe you had some adventure before uh, but now you are totally focused on yourself and underneath we have Six of Wands. So you feel all right, you feel good, you feel relaxed, you have your own comfort zone and you're fine with it. Uh, lots of you are working about your finances and your work life, focused more on that. And uh, you, you are in a good positive energy at this point in time, that's what I feel. And then above that, we have 10 of pentacles. So if you're married, you're really focused on your married life and your, uh, I don't know, your plans about your family and all that. If you're not married, then you're focused, maybe you're spending some time with your family, more time with your family or uh, you are focused on the practical side of things like money, finances and uh, making yourself more strong, uh, more uh, potent in a very monetary way, like a uh, practical way, work oriented, money oriented, finances oriented, things like that. Now moving forward, first we have Knight of Pentacles. So as the month of October will start, you'll be ready for something. You'll be ready, but you'll not be making a move. But you'll be ready. And uh, for some of you, uh, maybe you'll offer somebody something or, <coughs> sorry, or it's like, uh, uh, 
I don't know, you, you'll just be ready, but you'll still be waiting and see where it goes or what happens. So then we have four of cups, a little bit of dull energy. For some of you, maybe you'll reject something or maybe somebody rejected you in, pa in the past or you rejected them, something about rejection for some of you, not for everybody, but overall it's a dull energy. So maybe in that, uh, in those days when you're ready, but you're not making a move, you can get a little bit uh, dull or like disinterested or something like that. I'll clarify this Four of Cups, clarify Four of Cups. Okay, uh, Queen of Wands. So it's like, uh, yeah, you'll be doing your own thing. You will be ready for something, but still, you'll be in your power. You'll still hold that power. You'll not let that power go. And you'll still be in that uh, uh, attractive energy. You'll be very attractive in the month of October. And uh, it's like uh, you, you still like you'll be ready to move forward in some situation uh, but it's not like that you'll be desperate about it it's not like that uh, you'll be dying to move forward no you'll be showing or giving the energy of being ready but you'll not be initiating things so it can be in love it can be in work it can be in any other area of your life uh, and you'll be in your, again, in your power, this attractive energy going to fawns. And uh, whoever is on the receiving end, whether it's about work, people, or some love situation, they'll be attracted to you. Whether it's work, they'll be wanting to give you work. Or um, if it's about love, then they'll be wanting to be with you or to say yes to you because the reading is ending on the best card of the deck, the sun. So all is well. You will be very happy and things will, <coughs> I'm sorry, definitely uh, work out for you. Sun is yes. A definite yes and pleasure happiness joy and clarity you will be clear you'll be happy you'll be joyful things will be happening automatically for you and you'll be surprised that how good it is and this is a very positive outcome this is actually the most positive outcome the Sun so some of you will get fame, some of you will get love, some of you will get money or some of you will get all of that. It's a great energy here. So uh, that's where we end this reading, uh, the spread with this uh, success. We have two success cards here. We have six of wands here also. And also you'll feel in October by the middle of October, you'll feel that, okay, it's a new day. It's kind of a new life and it's so good. Very positive Sagittarius. So now uh, I'll pull out one advice card for you for this time frame from 1st to 15th of October. Advice for Sagittarius. 1st to 15th of October. Advice for Sagittarius. 1st to 15th of October, okay. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. So it's, it's, it's kind of a, like opportunities are gonna come towards you. So say yes to the opportunities. Some situations, some opportunity will come towards you in this time frame. It can be work, love, any area of your life. So they're saying that um, uh, 
welcome it, whatever it is. And don't be reluctant about it or don't be defensive about it. Uh, so uh, it's like, uh, it's like, yeah, welcoming it or uh, like, I'm not saying thing, yes, it's a big thing, but uh, I don't know, consider it, whatever it is, whatever the opportunity is, do not um, just uh, cut it out or uh, neglect that or ignore that, consider it. That's all what I'm saying. Please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed always.